six sources of motivation, social relationships, external expectations, social welfare, personal advancement, escape stimulation, and cognitive interests. When we think in terms of social relationships, uh, we, we learn because we want to make new friends. We want to make new acquaintances in terms of professional uh, connections with different individuals. So you, you have a staff person and they want to learn and they want to do well because they want to be like other people in, in, in your unit. And hopefully they want to be as the best performers are in your unit. And so you try to help them gain those kinds of relationships with those individuals. There are external expectations uh, to comply with the instructions from someone else and to uh, 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 fulfill the expectations and recommendations of someone with a formal authority. So uh, a motivator or an example of a motivator in this sense is that you have a new employee who wants to do well. Uh, they might view you as a mentor. They may have had someone else as a mentor, so they, they want to be able to uh, show how well they can do uh, in this particular job. Uh, social welfare, to improve the ability to serve mankind. Prepare for service to the community and improve the ability to participate in community work. Uh, I want to be a good probation officer because I want to help kids do better. I want to be a good uh, 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 community service worker because I want to be able to help people uh, give back to the community and help them understand and model skills in the areas of, of what it means to wake up in the morning and go to work and, and produce uh, uh, a good product, uh, depending on the nature of the community service. Personal advancement okay, is a motivator for the adult learner. Uh, people want to achieve a higher status and job, they want to secure professional advancement, they want to stay abreast of their competitors. Uh, your workers want to do better because they want uh, uh, advancements. They want to, I started in this organization 10 years ago with these three people. I'm now a PO3 or I'm now uh, a supervisor and the other person is maybe at the second level. Or we began in the organization together and we advanced together uh, in different units. Um, Another motivator is, is escape and simulation. To, uh, we try to learn because we want to relieve, we want to uh, relieve boredom. We try to provide a break from the routine of home and work, and, and we want to uh, see what's different. So I, I, I want to attend this conference because I want to see what other professionals are doing in the field. I want to know what's going on in Oregon, in New Mexico, in Nevada, Ohio. Uh, that kind of thing. And we learn for the sake of learn. Cognitive interest means to learn for the sake of learning, seeking knowledge for its own sake and to satisfy uh, the, my, the, the mind. Okay, so, so this is a motivator uh, in terms of just cognitive curiosity. Okay. Barriers to learning for adults is that unlike children, adults have many responsibilities that they must balance against the demands of learning. Okay, and, and that does you know, provide you know, some barriers. Not having enough time, your caseload is too high, uh, you get, you're ma managing multiple tasks, uh, you, you need some time management skills, you don't have the money to pay for it, you may not have the confidence, I don't think I'm ready yet, although your supervisor might feel you might be ready, I'm just not interested. Or I lack the information about opportunities, I just didn't know. Uh, there was a scheduling problem. There were three or four things that I wanted to attend and go to, but I couldn't because of my work assignments. There's too much red tape, or I wasn't able to go to the Saturday function or this training session that extends over a, a, a period of two days uh, because I needed to leave early because of child care or I didn't have the transportation. That could be examples of, of, of barriers to learn. Um, Moving on, some other uh, barriers might include uh, uh, the requirement for competence or licensure uh, uh, as a as a barrier uh, in terms of in terms of learning, uh, uh, an expectation or or, or, or promotion or could be a motivator 
I may want to move, learn because of job enrichment, okay, or a need to maintain old skills or learn new skills could be a barrier. A need to adapt to job changes could be a barrier or motivator. Or a need to learn in order to comply with the organizational directives, okay, could be a motivator. If you don't do it, you can lose your job. All right. Learning tips for uh, uh, for effective uh, instructors or, or supervisors when you're coaching and counseling your staff and helping them learn. Uh, and the four key elements of learning that you need to address in terms of learning tips, tips would be motivation, reinforcement, retention, and transference. When we think in terms of motivation, okay, if, if the person that you're trying, the staff person that you're working with doesn't recognize the need for the information, all right, then you as the instructor must establish some kind of rapport with that individual, set the feeling and the tone for why it's important for them to learn, set an appropriate level of concern, and, and, and set an opportunity for them to understand uh, the level of difficulty or the importance of, of why uh, they need to understand and learn something. All right, and I'm sure you can think of examples of what I'm talking about. Uh, reinforcement. Reinforcement means uh, it's a necessary step in teaching and learning process. And you could use positive reinforcement or you could use negative reinforcement. And it's most effective when you use positive reinforcement. Uh, especially when you're teaching new skills, allowing people to make mistakes and, and helping them uh, learn and understand, you know, the mistakes that they've made and, and complimenting them, you know, when they're doing well uh, and, and not uh, punishing them if they've made a mistake and saying, okay, well, let's try this again. Okay, yeah, you know, so we made a mistake, let's move on. Close enough for government work, right? Retention. Uh, is, is another good tip. Uh, the, the students must re uh, retain the information from the classroom in order to benefit. And what you need to do as a supervisor in order to make sure that people are retaining information is to maybe probe, ask questions, allow other opportunities, help them uh, understand that each case doesn't be, you know, what did they learn from the previous case and how can they transfer that knowledge Know, to the next scenario, uh, what is it that's in this this new scenario that that you've learned from previous scenarios that are similar, and how can you repeat you know those particular uh, situations so that when you're working with this new client, it's not really a new client so to speak. Uh, it, it's a new client, but there's some other things that you've learned from previous experiences that you may be able to apply. Uh, uh, in this learning process, okay, so you need to be able to, to see, you know, what staff have retained. And then uh, there's the issue of transference. Transference of learning is a result of training and it reinforces positive or negative transference, okay. Positive transference, like reinforcement, occurs when the participants use behaviors taught in the course or in the line of supervision. Negative transference, transference is um, Again, like negative reinforcement, it occurs when the participants do not do what they're told to do. Um, and transference usually occurs because of association. Participants can associate with new information uh, or similarity. The information is similar to the material that the participants already know. Uh, uh, the degree of, of original learning uh, and uh, the critical uh, attribute element is what Loeb talks about. The information learned contains elements that are extremely beneficial to the job. Okay, so that's you know why uh, I want to do this uh, and, and transfer this. Okay, so uh, 